Hello guys, welcome. So in today's video, we are doing the gaming review on the OnePlus Nord. So guys, let's get started. So guys, we are about to start from the PUBG mobile, which is all time favorite. So starting from the PUBG on both. So playing PUBG. So let us start the game. And guys, before going to the game, actually, I want to share you some details because the graphic settings of the PUBG is a bit different from the other phones. You can see uh, if you are put to HD, then you can the frame rate you are getting maximum is only the high. You can't get the other two options. And also HDR is not available and Ultra HD is not even available on any handset. But, but still, the, after the high notice are available. If you go to smooth, then you can see the Ultra option is available. If you go to balanced, then also Ultra option is available. But in HD, the Ultra option is no, not available. So it's up on you so first of all we can play in smooth and ultra for some time then after that we can just quickly jump to the normal settings really fast so just start the game let's see how well the node performs yes matching so guys let's see yes guys it's pretty damn smooth Actually, I think the frame rate is a bit nice. You can't feel any jerking or something like that. No shutter lags, no frame drops. You can see it's going ultra smooth. And guys, if you need a flagship level experience, then uh, the Node is not for you guys because the OnePlus 8 Pro have the higher end uh, graphic settings and the frame rate settings. So it's not available, but maybe after further some optimizations and Android updates, it will be there. But actually at the current moment, it is not available. So we can quickly jump and show you guys how, how well it handles the game. So we are already down. And you can see it pretty much smooth almost like a near flash experience with its current settings yeah guys let me increase the brightness a bit let's see what else So as you can see it's damn smooth guys no sort of any issues in that settings let's drop everything over here So you can see while it turns and all the turns are much more nicer no sorts of issues no frame drops i could feel stunning Thing somebody's been there.
So guys, in my opinion, I feel like uh, it's okay, perfectly fine, no sort of any sort of issues. I didn't feel it's perfectly fine for a normal user. And if you're a hardcore user, then the issue is going to be you can't play it in maximum settings. That's the only issue. Let's go. Yes, done, guys. Oh guys, sorry for that kill. So guys, actually I feel like it's perfectly a nice handle device. Now I let me switch the resolution a bit. So now let me switch to HD and high. And now I about to play. Guys, and now in HD and high it's not as smooth. That actually I think the frame rate is not up to the mark. So that's why it is not feel as smooth as that it was on smooth and it's maximum settings but still it's okay fine so you can hear the sound output and all So guys actually if you are a normal PUBG player then the OnePlus Node is perfectly for you and actually after playing for this session and there no sort of heavy heating and nothing is there and actually I had already played about uh, you know, more times the PUBG actually I didn't felt any sort of issues in, over here. So guys now let's move to the next game. So that's gonna be Call of Duty. So just switching to the Call of Duty really quick. Connecting to the server, let me close. Oh, sorry. Yeah, in Call of Duty, let's see. It's loading. So, guys, the Call of Duty is being loaded. Confirm. Let's go as a guest. Loading as a guest. So multiplayer start. Actually, PUBG was nice on the OnePlus Nord. Yes, now let's check the Call of Duty. I think if the PUBG is great, then this is gonna be also great. Yes.
Wow, guys, it's perfectly smooth. I really like this one. Wow guys, stunning. Actually no sort of issues actually really playing enjoyed the playing on this one. Wow. Uh, great guys, no sort of issues or lags over here. It's really nice. So let me quickly go to the next game. So that's gonna be GTS Andreas. And yes, offline. Yes, start game. The nostalgic BGM. Sorry for that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You in a hurry? Oh. Sorry for saying nostalgic BGM. Guys, the performance on the GT Sandras is also really nice. Actually, I could just Snapdragon is performing really nice 765. Wow, wow, wow. Actually, you are getting a near flash experience. Actually, I couldn't set a flash experience because of the Let's see this. Let's go, wow. Damn it. Hey baby, damn, come join my team. He said every Oscar winner started in the pool. Guys, GT Sandras is also playing really nice. No sorts of issues or lags. Any playing oh, fantastic, you can see. Let's move really fast and check the graphics. So guys, you can see it's perfectly fine playing three of them. Actually, no sort of issue with PUBG in the higher end setting, but in the HDR and uh, in the smooth, it was perfectly fine and smooth. The frame rate was a bit nice, but actually in the HD and then going to the maximum frame rate, then there was a bit uh, frame drop. I wouldn't say as frame drop, actually the frame was frame rate was a bit low, but uh, except that actually I really enjoyed, but actually the higher end settings is not available for the PUBG. Then the next thing uh, was on the Call of Duty. Call of Duty was handling perfectly fine. No sort of any issues on the Call of Duty. And then finally the GTS Andreas. It is also playing so smooth. As you guys can see. Perfect. And guys let me. Now let me open the PUBG. So I kept the three applications in the background. So first we had played PUBG Mobile, then the Call of Duty, then the GTA Center. Let's check whether it will be on the RAM or not. PUBG Mobile, wow. It is exactly there we are, where we have left, then GTA San Andreas. Right now, yes, it's also there, then the Call of Duty. Yes, guys, three of them are in exactly the same position we have left. So perfect RAM management and the gaming is uh, really nice. And if uh, I would recommend the OnePlus Note if you are not a hardcore gamer. And if you are a hardcore gamer who plays about one hour or more, then actually uh, after one hour, then the phone is tends to be, I couldn't say it's as heating, but actually, yes, uh, it does have a minor, sorry, nothing. 
let's leave it actually it's it's a pretty much nice phone no issues at all and uh, actually it's not suits uh, the who are uh, really hardcore and who wish just to play more than one hour and all apart from that this is perfectly fine you can play any of them with no sort of issues and don't expect this the performance from the 8 pro on the oneplus node uh, so that's also an issue because the frame rates uh, are a bit low on this guy and uh, apart from that the gaming is fantastic on the oneplus note so that's all regarding the gaming review on the oneplus note thank you guys